Leo, welcome to your weekend reading for April 3rd through the 5th. My name is Jenny Weeks. I'm uh, an intuitive psychic medium. I speak to animals and I'm here with this weekend read for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you'd like to learn more about me, you can check out some links in the description below. And I'm pulling the first deck that I'm using is the Earth Magic deck, and I pull a card that will give you spiritual guidance for whatever it is that you're facing this week. Here we go. All right. Unfoldment like a lotus flower, Leo. Okay. So let's see why you need this card. What What is it that you're facing this weekend, Leo? So yeah, um, check out the link below for a free natal chart if you don't know your rising sign or your moon sign or with where Venus was. Obviously not everything's going to resonate with you, Leo, uh, from this. But knowing your moon sign, you can check out that reading and um, the other readings and get a more clearer picture of what it is. Well, this is great. Queen of Pentacles. I love the Queen of Pentacles. Who doesn't love the Queen of Pentacles? Hold on. Who doesn't love that? Okay. So let's see what brought you to this place of thriving, um, this place of being down to earth, this place of being practical, um, even just financial. Okay. This. Okay. So you've come a place. You've come from a place of some either emotional instability, financial instability, um, some craziness, even some uh, some jealousy, even, you know, the, the moon in reverse can even be um, lunacy. So there's been, there have been some crazy times in your life, Leo. So let's check this out. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles, everything thrives around her, right? She's holding on to uh, the money, the coins, the material success and wealth, which is good. So she's hovering over you, let's say, this weekend, Leo. But she's also an earth sign, so she's practical in what she does. Okay, she can be nurturing. She can even be, if you're not a, a mother already, you can be a mother figure to other people. And believe it or not, you could be a maternal figure even to someone older than you. So this is all in a good place, Leo. You're in a good place this weekend. And you've come from a place of, like I said, emotional instability, even jealousy in a relationship. It could be jealousy in a friendship, jealousy in a romantic relationship, or just jealous of someone else's accomplishments. Um, also, financial instability. You know, instability. This is some crazy stuff here. I mean, it's a, it's back in the day. I mean, the waters are rocky and rough, and you've got... Uh, um, you know, the moon, it, nighttime was unknown and all the scary things coming up, out, uh, sorry, um, coming out. And so this is like not a great place. So congratulations to you, Leo, because you have come from a not so great place, from a bad place. And you're in a good place emotionally right now, even financially. And um, things may not be, you might not be seeing the coin just yet, but you will be. Um, because she's practical, she knows what she's doing. So here's the thing, Leo. Why do you need this spiritual guidance for this weekend? Well, let's take a look at the Lotus, okay? It's a beautiful card, the Earth Magic deck. I love this deck. So the Lotus is a very special plant because it's rooted down in the mud, in the Earth, just like our Queen of Pentacles here is rooted in the Earth, right? She's an Earth sign, but this is, is there we go, in the Earth, in the mud, and it comes up, it grows up through the water, and it comes up every day, faces the sun, and it blooms, reaching for the sun. So it's a spiritual growth. It's got a, it, it, and at night it turns back down, and then it reaches for the sun again. So it's a cycle, and it does it every day. So there are ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs, Leo. And so this unfoldment, spiritually, you are unfolding. You don't have to force anything to happen. Just like the lotus, it just naturally reaches for the sun and then it goes back down at night and it reaches for the sun and it goes underwater. It, it tucks itself in like to bed, as it say. But it's it's a natural thing. You don't have to force growth. You don't have to force things to happen. You've got to let go and trust, Leo, because the coin is right here. The money is here. The stability is here. And you know, you could even be financially stable alone, independently. You've got what it takes. You just have to let go of the fear. You've And if you don't let go, I mean, you've got your outcome is like, this guy's been through a lot, right? He's been through the battle. 
right? He's been through the battle. He's got the bandage on. He's looking. He's watchful. For me, these are his accomplishments. Um, but he, do, I don't feel like he has to watch his back. He's looking to make sure. He's vigilant because he's been through so much. And you've been through so much, Leo. But this queen is telling you, you've got what it takes to make the money, you've got what it takes to make your relationships work, um, to be the mother, to balance being a mother, and to balance a relationship, to balance work. Like, she, this queen does it all. And everything thrives around her. You know what I mean? And she's got cycles here. So she's got the growth, the flowers and everything. And she's got the earth. She's got... Um, all the symbols of prosperity and wealth here and she's actually holding the money so she's literally got it in her hands she's got the coin in her hands so you have what it takes so just do it do it leo and don't don't overthink it because this happens the lotus goes it puts itself to sleep every night it goes under the water and then it comes up and reaches the sun it comes it just does it you don't have to force it. It doesn't force itself. It's a natural thing. And so you have to just allow it and trust that you're always going to reach for the soul, for the light. Your soul is always going to reach for that growth. And as you do that and go through the cycles, yeah, I mean, this may happen again where you've got to hang on. But right now, you've got what it takes to make the money to balance your life you can do this, Leo. You've got what it takes. Okay? So stay spiritual. I'll see you on the sunny side on the sunny side. Thank you if you subscribed. Thank you for just being here with me and and visiting and listening to what the cards have to say. I appreciate it. Um, I will have the April love readings up and the general readings. I apologize. I got sick last week. I lost a week behind schedule and then when I started the weekend reads again, I got sick again. So we're a little bit late, but it's all gonna it's all unfolding. Leo, it's all unfolding. So I'll see you soon. And uh, please leave me some comments below. Let me know you liked it or what you know, what you're going through, how this is resonating with you, and check out the other readings. Check out that link for the uh, free birth chart in the description below. Take care. Again, stay spiritual and I'll see you on the sunny side. Bye, Leo.